All new on two this morning, our special report on violent crime in Tulsa. As of this morning, there have been 38 homicides in the city this year. That follows the record of 71 homicides in 2009. Two News reporter Brianne Palmarini joins us live with the conclusion of our morning special report. Brianne? Well, many times homicide detectives say they know who their suspect is, but they run into trouble when it comes time to make an arrest. When you see something like that, it's going to be ingrained in your memory for life. Jason Trent's 18-year-old son, Jake, was shot and killed more than a year ago. Police say Jake was an innocent victim of a gang-related shooting. So far, no arrests have been made, but Trent says there were witnesses to the crime. You know, there was a man that seen it happen. He saw him running away from the scene. But two days later, he can't remember nothing. Police say that's a trend in the city's unsolved homicide cases. I would say probably 99% of the homicides, if someone would come forward and say what they, you know, they know, we would probably solve those homicides. Without a witness, police say it's more difficult to positively identify a suspect, make an arrest, and build a case. So that's frustrating to the detectives when, they, when we know that individuals out there have information, but they're refusing uh, to give it to us because of the no stench mentality. Investigators say there are a couple of reasons potential witnesses won't speak. A sense of fear, a sense of revenge. They want to get, get justice done on their own. Tulsa resident Sabian Black's right. reasoning of the no snitch mentality mirrors that of investigators. They are unified. Are you in a gang? Yeah. Yeah. It's only since the unity I got out here right now. And while police can't connect the no snitch policy to gang activity, Jake Trent's father says it's one and the same. You know, it's definitely that, you know, it's, it's gang activity. Both can agree encouraging more residents to speak out about violent crime is the key to stopping it before it happens. You might as well have pulled the trigger. You know, you're no better, you're no better than the murderer when you know something and you refuse to talk. Now, Tulsa police do solve 80% of the city's homicides, but they say it can be an uphill battle, and reporting what you see can mean more lives saved. Live in North Tulsa, Brianne Palmarini, 2 News Works for you.